Right on. This guy is just ripping right now. What is up, everybody? Today is my yearly Grand Rapids catfishing extravaganza. This is one of my favorite kinds of fishing I do every year. Basically, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're here all year long, but the water level gets really low in the river and tons of catfish just get stuck in these little pools. But I wouldn't say they're stuck. They just pool, pool up in these little tiny deep holes and cuts and stuff like that. And you just catch the crap out of them. So here we go. So the guy I'm meeting up with today is uh, running a little bit behind. So I'm going to head down there and try to catch some bait for us before he gets here. I also have no idea how high this water is going to be, but we haven't gotten rain for probably a week now, so I imagine it's going to be low enough to fish. So the water's up a little bit higher than I'd like to see it, but I don't think that should be a problem. It might make the fishing a little bit more difficult, but I guess we'll have to see. First, I'm going to try to go net some of these things. There we go. Got a few in there. Tiny ones, though. That's the scoop I was looking for right there. A couple of big ones in there too. Perfect. That was a little sunfish in there. They're all tiny though. Those ones go. Tons of small ones. Tons and tons of small ones. This guy's gonna show me how it's done right here. So we don't normally do this right away, but because of how high the water is, I wanna cross and fish on the other side of the dam before we come back over here and maybe fish this later. Hey, just a tip, don't fall in. Yeah, thank you. Yep. It's a drop off right there. You gotta walk straight this way. This drops off right here. Right here, it drops off right there. The line for the drop off. There was a fish's tail right there. Hopefully Ben catches up eventually. The other Ben. Holy crap, there's a ton of buffalo right here. I wonder if I can get those in my net. Look at how many. They're all like trying to jump up here too. Look at all of them, holy cow. I'm glad to see our log is still here for us to try to jump over this. All right, here we go. There we go. No problem. If that log wasn't there, it'd be so much more difficult. Hey, Ben, this dude is so far behind right now. Oh my goodness. We made it. Uh, fuck that. You're gonna edit that out, right? <laughs> you help me edit? I'm good. You just kind of stumble down these rocks. Oh, officially made it. Thank God. I stopped paying attention and he snagged himself a buffalo over there. <laughs> First fish of the trip. He must have cast it right into him. I feel like you do that over and over and over again. All right, so what I got here is just a basic catfishing bottom rig. So it's just a tri swivel, another swivel, a leader with a float and then a hook and that's where I'm gonna put my bait. I'm gonna use a three ounce sinker. Normally I don't use that much here, but with how high the water is, I feel like it's kind of needed. Well, that was 100% unexpected, but happened a lot faster than I thought it was going to, but I already have a fish. He, oh, it's a little sheep head. Yeah, I bet he did like those minnows. I don't want to see you ever again, though. We're looking for catfish out here, buddy. I wonder, I just wonder. Should I try eating him? Probably not, but it would be a kind of fun thing to do, though. Easy path. Well, fish is a fish.
Hopefully we get some big cats coming around here pretty soon. Okay. All right, that rock is slippery. Fortunately, nothing broke. That's the good thing. It already feels like something's trying to pick it up. Ben's got another buffalo over there. I'm getting hit right now. He's got it snagged in the top of the noggin. I wonder what he has. Oh, I think it's a flathead. That looks like a flathead from over here. If it is, I'm gonna have to tell him to come over here so I can take a picture of him with it. I'm getting hit right now though. Let's see. Is he gonna take it? Take it down, buddy. Take her down. What is it? Hey, there you go. Hey, bring it over here. <laughs> Put it on a stringer. Grab him. Did you get, you didn't get a picture? Didn't want a picture of his first flathead. Oh well. Selfishly, I want him to come over here because he has a knife so I can cut up that gizzard shad. But at the same time, I know he's catching fish over there. There we go. Now we got a fish on. I wonder what this is. It looks like it has a tail like a flathead. This might be another flathead. If it is, that's insane. I mean, we catch flathead here, but not too, too many. Let's see. Nah, just a big old freaking sheephead. Man, he's running too. Come over here, pal. Oh, he didn't take my bait at least. Man, sheephead are in here thick. Dang. That is a monster sheephead. For the river. I mean, in the lake, we'll catch them bigger. But a river sheephead, that is huge. Just glad to be catching stuff. Huh? Yeah. Yes, yeah, it was a sheephead. There we go. Big old gas for goo. It's a good looking fish. Get out of here. Tell your friends to stay away. There's that slippery rock again. Dang it. <laughs> ooh, ooh. More slippery rocks. You really don't need all that big a bait. You can see how small minnows I'm using. It's the same concept of match the hatch. I mean, this is all in here right now, all these little tiny minnows. So that's what everything's gonna be feeding on. So that's not why I'm not worried about throwing on a huge chunk of bait to catch a big fish. I know I'll be able to do it with just this stuff right here. That was a good cast right there. Hey, there's that sheep that's still just chilling there. He swam off. After this bait is used up, I'm probably gonna have to put this down and go try to catch some more bait. Oh, we got Ben with another fish. Small mouth. Let's eat him. I'm joking. I'm joking. Joking, joking, maybe. I don't know. Give me that. Got a bunch of little fish pecking at it right now. He's, he's caught an assorted bag so far. Hell yeah, flat. He's got buffalo, flathead, small mouth. I don't know what else there is for him to catch. All right, I'm gonna check my bait. Oh. I wonder what that was. Just wanna check my bait and I about doubled over. All right, I'm gonna put this thing in a rod holder and try to catch more bait for now. How was I getting down before? <laughs> Holy crap. This is a nice fish right here. I just walked over here to start dip netting. Now I got a fish on. Got to figure out a place to put this stuff though so it doesn't float away. Oh my God, this fish is really pulling me. All right, let's watch this now. Get him on the other side of these rocks here. This feels like a really nice fish. It has to be a catfish. There's no way a sheephead would be dogging me like this. What is, oh yeah, that's a catfish. There's the big uglies we were looking for. Hell yeah, get over here, pal. I'm waiting to see the likes of you. Catfish! Oh, he's walking me right over to my pliers and all that too, perfect. Come here, buddy. Keep on coming. Yeah, you can just stay right there in the mud. All right, come here, you big ugly thing. Right in the corner. Perfect, look at that beast. Easy, pal. Just gave him a little help. He's good. Well, that was my last piece of good bait, so 
I'm gonna have to do something now. It would be nice to start cutting up that shad. All I got is a bunch of little tiny minnows right now that I don't know how well they're gonna stay on the hook, but I'm gonna cast these out while I go dip in for more bait, hopefully. Get some good, nice sized minnows again, or sh shads. Little tiny baits. Man, I need some bigger stuff. Bunch of minnows, just all small. All right. Either Ben's hooked on a giant or he's snagged. Holy crap, look at that scoop of freaking minnows. They're all too small though. Yeah, Ben's got a fish on. I'll walk over there to him. I can almost guarantee you he did not try to bite that. He just. It's right by the mouth. <laughs> he just snagged him in such a good spot. Yes. <laughs> look at that. Thing. I know the first one was snagged the first part. Yeah. Dang, they fight so hard, man. I gotta do this with two hands. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got pliers? Yeah. Feet thrashes, I just don't want one of those going into me. No, 100%. <laughs> Here you go. The hook sliced them up pretty well. All yeah, right. You wanna see what it tastes like? No. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm good on that one. I also came over here because I wanted your knife. All I got is little baits over there and I want to cut up that shad. <laughs> I got you. You want to come over there? I'll try Cast to take my shoes off. I'll just... Look at all, these are all eggs right here. Yeah, I was, I was looking at those earlier. That's cool. I, it makes you wonder what that is or what eggs they are. <laughs> right. This river will swallow you up. Literally, there's spots where it's like ankle deep like this and the next step you take, it's like 10 feet. Yeah, exactly. I've stepped in them before and it's, it's just hilarious because you're just swimming out of nowhere. <laughs> Alrighty, I got what I came for. I'm gonna start out with a decent sized chunk. Just cause when this water a little drops, I can come down here, catch small fish all the time. I wanna see with the water being higher, if bigger fish wanna lurk around a little bit. Hook's probably a little small, but should be fun if something does hit that. I'm actually just sit down, relax a little bit here. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Those are some big head shakes. I'm gonna take back on the drag just a little bit since the hook is in there. I feel like he's just running at me right now. I'm not really. There we go. <laughs> nice. That's a nice channel right there. I can't believe, actually I can't believe he took down that big piece of bait. He ain't as big as the last one, that's the funny thing for that big old piece of bait. He's pretty good though. Well, now that I know a big piece of bait like that, we'll still catch him, so I think I'm gonna probably try that one again. There we have it. That's always the funny thing about these channel cats is they don't know when to let go of your clamps. They just wanna bite the hell out of them. All right. Send her back out. Ben's hooked up again. Just by the way it's fighting, I want to say it's a catfish. It's another carp. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I got a fish on. There we go. I wasn't even paying attention. It took me all the way to the left there. And I just reeled, came back and reeled down on him. Oh boy. I want to get Ben over here. I want him to catch one of these suckers, but I don't know if he wants to cross those rapids over there. Just gotta get him around these rocks. What a nice channel cat. Oh, he might have saved me my bait too. What a good guy. Good man. Thanks for saving me my bait, buddy. There we go. Another beast of a channel. Man, this is fun. Oh, we're doubled. I should take a picture of this for Hannah. She'll think it's cool. Off he goes. 
Man, this is some fast action right now. In normal circumstances, I'd always just replace bait, but because I have so little, I'm just gonna rehook this thing back on. Hope for the best. Hopefully it catches another. I'm already getting bumped. That's so crazy. The thing basically hits the bottom and fish start trying to get it. And really, shout out to that guy who gave me this gizzard shed. If it wasn't for that guy, I'd be basically done right now. I'd be still looking for bait. Oh, he got himself another fish over there. I keep telling him to come over here, but I think he's doing just fine. He's been using that same square bill this whole time too, which is kind of crazy. This is completely slack, yep. I'm on. I love it when they just pick it up and just are running towards you. Oh my goodness. Got him around all them rocks again. That's another nice channel. Got him over the rocks. Here he comes. Probably the smallest of the day on that big old piece of bait. Man, these guys just put up an amazing fight. Right in that hard part of the jaw right there. There we go. If I'm able to fit my hand around them, then you know they're not too big because I don't got the biggest hands ever. Oh, he's got something nice on too. It's just fast action over here right now. What do you got? Looks like some kind of catfish. <clears throat> Can't tell. A little channel cat. That's what it looks like. Another good piece of bait. I have to check my phone, but I think we have not been here for much more than an hour. I had to guess. I've caught like five-ish fish. He's probably caught like 10. I'm getting back on my rock. I'm already getting hit. This one slack, fish on. Oh, right out of his mouth. Probably just pulled a little too soon. Getting hit right there though. That one just set it for me. No problem there. This feels like a nicer fish. There we go. Come over here, pal. Another nice big channel. Oh man. What a day it has been. Probably the biggest one of the day if I had to guess. Easily a seven plus pounder. Right on. It is so slippery here. All right, I'm gonna let this cast soak until it gets another bite or I lose a fish and I'm gonna go over there and try to set up next to Ben. Oh wow, that line just jumped. I wonder if it's slack right now. No. There it goes, there's one. There's a nice fish. Oh boy. He's got me around those rocks right now. Let's see if I can slide him through. That's one of the reasons I'm staying so high up here right now is I wanna stay on top of these rocks so this line doesn't rub up on all of them. This guy is just ripping right now. Got him on the other side of them rocks, perfect. Nope, you're not going on the other side of those rocks again. Uh, another real nice one back in the water all right i'm gonna head over to ben so you catch all the fish out of here yet i just wanted to come join you <clears throat> time to get set up again no nah. we normally catch like one out of here so like with you catching that one today i was like all right there's our our flathead for the day what pound braid is that that's crazy you've been able to catch some of these with 10 pounds here we go there we go oh no broke off he was just rubbing on that stuff too i could feel him rubbing on it i didn't think did not think it would break off though 
It took everything. That's the surprising thing is it took everything. They didn't just break it the leader. It took everything. What? Okay, thank you. Get my stuff back for me. Time to get some revenge. Oh shoot, that was fast. There we go. Oh, it came off. Did you get my bait? Nope. There goes another setup. Freak <laughs> off? Yeah. Damn. I snagged. Well, this spot has not been the best of luck for me, but Ben sure seems to have it down. I put him in there. You keeping him? Might do something with him. I think I know where you're going with that. What are you thinking? Because I don't think we're thinking the same thing. Well, you're not going to. We're going to call you disgusting if you're going to eat him. I was thinking if I can keep him alive, I'll put him in my buddy's pond. And if he dies, then I will probably just eat it. Really? You'll yeah. eat a white bass? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not rigging back up again. I was just going to sit and watch you. Before we go, I want to try to net as many minnows as we can and put them in a bucket. Put in the pond too? Or? Yeah. Uh, this walk back is going to suck. Well, we are done fishing now. But I want to see how many minnows we can net. So I'm going to grab a five gallon bucket and we're going to try to collect a few of them. You want to try to help me? Oh, yeah. Grab both sides. I can do it by myself, but I feel like I'm always better with another person. Got our five gallon bucket. We're going to like come out and in like that. Oh, a little slippery, eh? It should be nice and flat for you all the way through there. Nada. Damn, it was good. Man, let's put them in the bucket. Oh, there's a couple nice size ones in there. Sometimes there's some in this corner here. Holy smokes. Oh, you got a bluegill on there. Yeah. Oh my god. You get him? Yeah, I got a crayfish in there. You did? I want the crayfish. <laughs> yeah, get that crayfish out of there. That's hilarious. You only got one claw, don't you? Don't pinch me. The crayfish guy. <laughs> Little mini lobster. Yeah, right. Yeah, no. Well, you don't want an ear piercing? No, I can't say that I do. Let me put him on your ear. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at them all right there. Big ones yeah, these are the ones I was hoping to catch earlier for bait. Yeah. You have an air reader or anything? Nah. Whatever makes it makes it. Survival <laughs> of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. <sighs> Getting all the minnows loaded up. The thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss them in a cooler with a lid on them, hopefully. I'll keep them from spilling all over the place. All right, I'm where I want to be to drop off these minnows. What's up, Malcolm? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Look at you. Oh my goodness. Come here, buddy. No. <laughs> Had a white bass that I thought would stay alive for you. Yeah, you, got, you if you would have coming without that white bass, you know what I mean? A couple of them made it. I see a decent amount going on. Lot or dead though. Oh, that one's already getting popped. Oh, he just got swallowed up. Well, the middle transporting didn't go as expected, or the white bass, but is what it is i thought i'd give it a, a shot i didn't have an aerator on me so i knew i had to go quick from when i got them in the bucket to when i got them to the pond but it happens stuff will still eat that still good nutrients for 
the pond and whatnot. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be sure to get back down there later and hopefully do a little more fishing. If you guys like this kind of video, let me know. If you guys want more catfish, more walleye, more bass, comment down below. Anyways, thanks for watching.